And it's like, okay, well, that's a little, uh, dial it back a bit, man. Yeah, you're so fucking stupid. Hey! 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 150, man. Woo! What a milestone. Bam! Where we watch them so you don't have to, and I wish... We did watch something better for episode 150. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know. Hey, fuckers. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day, yeah. We love you all. So we, uh... We're going to do inappropriate things for each and every one of you. This week we watched Lover's Lane. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> From 1999. <coughs> not rated, 90 minutes. I'm not really sure why it's not rated. Uh, they probably just didn't submit it. We, I think this was straight to video. I really, really yeah, think this was straight to video. I'm pretty sure it went straight to the blockbuster shelf. Woo! So this is from 99, yep. directed by John Ward, starring John. Anna Ferris. Yes! Matt Reed Reedy. Reed 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 Reed. Sarah Lancaster. Yeah. Uh, the only one I, I really recognize was Anna Ferris. Anna Ferris, yeah. This movie was filled with knockoff versions of better celebrities. Yeah. Like for sure. Matt Reedy really looked like the store brand of Devin Sala. No. <laughs> that was the sheriff. Sorry. Yep, no, I stand by what I said. <laughs> the whole guy looked like Devin Sala. Yeah, there's a, I mean, but yeah, characters, he, one looked like. Matt Reedy looked like an old um, yeah, Mike, Mike Rowe. Rowe. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, the guy looked like Dime Store Devin Sawa. We yeah. got Dollar Store Bruce Campbell. Yep. Yeah. Anna Ferris looked like the cheap version of Anna Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen Urban Legend? I know what you did last summer. Scream. Yeah. It's kind of like late that. 90s teen slasher. Yeah. Yeah, that, it wasn't really a whodunit per se. But, no. You know. Um, a mental patient breaks out, puts a hook on his hand, and starts <laughs> killing people. Come, comes back 13 years later to get the kids of the people yep. he killed. Yep. Yeah. You know. Uh, pretty cliche, really. But, Very cliche. Hey, you know, back then, that's what was big, and they played it. It's, the same thing happens these days. Yeah. But anyway, so likes. This was in 99, and oh, man, the 90s vibe oh, and man. the fashion. We were in high school. Their you know, clothing, we, so much of that is like, I remember wearing that. Yeah. I remember dating someone who wore that. Yeah, with the, 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 the little... Um, the butterfly clip things in the hair. Yeah, and you look yeah. like the predator's butt. Wearing a long sleeve shirt and then a t-shirt over the top of it. Wearing clothes that are too big for you. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. And and like the the what was it? Um, Hawaiian type shirts or yeah, yeah. You know, flannel that or not flannel uh, tie dye. Tie dye. Lots of tie dye. Yeah. This yeah. reminded me a lot of the nineties. Yeah. I like that. The nostalgia was awesome for. I mean, we you know we were in a what final year of high school when yeah. this probably came out. For so. people who were in high school in the late nineties, this movie you're gonna dig it for that. Yeah. It, it takes you back to a different time. I loved it. Yeah. Man, such better times back. Then. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm mm -hmm. cool with that. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. I was enjoying my coffee. Yeah, uh, I liked Anna Ferris oh, in this yeah. movie. I yeah. like her in pretty much everything. I, I really feel like she was this. wasted in this movie yeah. because she had no comedy whatsoever. But yeah, she looked very young, like maybe twenty twenty one. She was really young in this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it was the nineties teenager in a movie, right. which means they were mid twenties. I like her cheerleader outfit the whole movie. Yeah, that was pretty nice. That mm. wasn't bad. Um. I like some of the music in it. There wasn't a ton. But yeah. Some of the music and score is kind of ominous. Kind of backgroundy. Few, yeah. Yeah. Never yeah. overpowering. A little, a couple little, uh, you know, stingers here and there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of ominous. I like that. Unfortunately, the whole atmosphere and stuff didn't really live up to what was happening because it wasn't scary. No, it wasn't. Um, or tense even. No. For the most part. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I really dig the the locations that they shot at, yeah. and some of the sets were cool. Some of the sets were cool because they reminded me of the '90s, and it's like, oh yeah, I remember what this was like and how this looked. Yeah. And and some of it was just like the the triple X root beer place that they yeah, went oh, to. Yeah. And we were both like, this is a set. There's no such thing. And, and we looked, and it's like, not only is there, there's a like two or three of them. Yeah. But they were at a very specific one. Real one. And now we know exactly where they were shooting at because it's the only one in the world that looks like that. It was like, well, that's really cool. Uh, and it looks the same today. Yeah. Was it in Sakwa, Washington? I don't know. Something my like sack that. Wash, my Washington. Something in Washington. <laughs> that was a weird, it weird was ass name. In Washington, Sack. Yeah. You know, and the, there's some bowling scenes. Yeah. Uh, which, and yeah, I'm a bowler. I like bowling in the. Play with the balls. Roll the balls. 
I like that there was more than one killer and kind of the way that all twisted together yeah. at the end. That was interesting, at Came least. Came out of nowhere, and I, I was like, whoa. It's like a monkey just showed up and threw poop at your face. It felt like they had watched Scream. Yeah. And they right. were and they were like, we can do a movie with multiple killers and with a you know twist reasoning and twist logic, but they didn't understand why Scream worked. Right. I like the logo of the movie on the on the title screen. Yes. If I, it, it says Love Lane and the V is a little heart. Little heart. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Was, I like that. It was well designed. Yeah. yeah. Unique. You know. That's it. That's what That's we it. liked. It would, and this is one of those movies like it wasn't like good but it wasn't bad so it was mm-hmm. like we really had kind of a hard time kind of figuring out because we didn't you know like it but we didn't dislike it it was kind of like <laughs> this was another movie it's right here you know it's yep. uh, yeah no, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> i mean i'm glad we watched it i wanted to yeah. see it but i'll probably never watch it again no anyway no, I, I will never watch it again no. i can guarantee <laughs> five years from now i'm like oh it's valentine's day we should do lover's lane <laughs> no. no so what do we dislike about okay it? This was driving me insane. The lighting in this movie was... <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> the lighting in this movie was so bad. Oh, it was so dark. It was, it was you couldn't... Dark, dark. Dark. Yeah. Like, but worse than that. Yeah, it was like if this was dark. Yeah, like if you just couldn't see anything. You could hear us, but not mm. see us. Well, you'd probably like that. You wouldn't have to see us. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> My arm's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was very. I couldn't see what was happening yeah. at least half the time. It's like, which is too bad because it looked like there were some cool scenes going on in there. Yeah, I mean there was there was some nudity in it, but you couldn't yeah. see shit. I'm like, I think that's a shoulder. It, it okay. This reminded me of watching like the Spice Channel in the '90s. But not paying for it, it was still scrambled, and you were like, "I think, I think I see a nipple. I yeah. think I see a nipple. There's a boob. That was this right movie. there. Except it wasn't static or anything. A boob. I'm a boob. A boob. Yep. <laughs> uh, it wasn't like staticky, like no. the Spice Channel. It was just too dark it to was see. Dark. It was like, I think I see a boob. That might be a nipple, <clears throat> but I'm not sure. And, and there was times where it's like, I just forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that wholeheartedly. You know, the, the story was pretty cliche. Uh, it, granted, it came out in a time where all these other movies were doing it. Yeah, nah, you know that doesn't take away from it, but it was just kind of at this point, you know, what twenty years later, it's like okay. Um. Oh. Um. What happened? I didn't <laughs> see it because it wasn't on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was that good? That was good. Thank I like you. that. Thank you. <coughs> the the body count was okay. Yeah. Decent. There were what about a dozen? Yeah. It was okay. pretty good. But we don't get a C nine and a half out of ten of them. Well there were a dozen would be twelve. Well I know. But <laughs> Eleven and a half out of twelve of them. <laughs> They're off screen. Yeah, you didn't see most of them. God, at that all. drives me crazy. We know that yeah. there wasn't much blood and garbage. There's a little bit of blood, maybe little slashes, you know, stuff like that, and a little bit of. Um... Yeah, so that drives me crazy. Off yeah. screen, ah, one or two in a movie, fine. I... Okay, this really, really, ah, skeeves me out so much. One of the killers is fucking his own daughter. Who is also one of the killers. Oh, spoiler. Sorry, movie's 20 years old. Fuck you. Um, That's gross. And he also wanted to bone his niece. Also gross. Oh. Uh, There's a few cottonity errors. Those. Cottonity errors. Uh, You know. Nah. Hey, most movies have them if you catch them. No big deal, but... Meh. We watch for shit like we that. We watch, we see yeah. it, we notice it. Uh, ah, overall, the, the whole thing was kind of forgettable. That's the thing, this wasn't really like... Five years from now, I'm not going to remember watching this movie. No. Probably not. Yeah, We may have seen it when we were younger. And we, we, it was very possible. You know, and this one's just... It, it's <coughs> very meh. It's very yeah. middle of the road. Very mediocre. It's not... Like we said, it's not good, it's not bad. This is not Scream. No, and when you compare it to those other ones that came around at the same time, this just, it got put on the shelf of Blockbuster, probably had one or two copies. Yep. People would be like, well, every other movie I want is gone. I guess I'll watch this because this is kind of what I was wanting. Yep. Eh, nothing wrong with that, but mm, it's a very, you It's know, a movie. It's a movie. That's the biggest thing. It, it wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It, it just 
exists. Yeah, like it exists. A, this is a movie that exists. I, I mean, I wouldn't say you know, I, I won't say don't watch it because it. I mean, it was. I enjoyed watching it. Yeah, it was okay. But I, I won't probably ever watch it again. No. If if seventeen year old me when this came out watched it, I probably would have liked it a lot more than I did now. True. You know, because that's. We should say, we were 17 when this came out. Right, in 99, we were 17, almost maybe even 18 at that point. I don't know. No, we would have been 16, almost 17. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it was 2000. So we would have been somewhere in there, 16, 17. Right. So let's say 17. We'll say 17, me. Yeah, 17 year old me would have said six out of eight. Because it was fun, you know, for what it is. Eh, it was the times. 37 year old me, ha! Huh, I'm going to say 3.5 out of eight. The off screen kills. Mm, yeah. Pisses me off, and the too dark, and it was just—I mean, the, it moved along fine, but it just uh, not enough happened to keep it exciting or fun. Yeah. I'm glad I watched it. Won't watch it again. Yep. Yeah. So, going with that, 17-year-old me, I would have probably given this a six out of eight as well. Yeah. Um, Whacking Anna Ferris. With the caveat that if Anna Ferris had showed her boobs to the camera instead of having her back turned, right. I would have given it an extra point and given it a seven out yeah. of eight. But we'll say six out of eight. Sure. 37 year old me, this was super middle of the road for me. No. It was average, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad. So I'm gonna give it a four out of eight, with the caveat that if Anna Ferris had showed her boobs to the camera, I would have gotten an extra point. <laughs> so he's going that has a... stayed consistent. <laughs> <laughs> he was half a point higher. Whoa, exclamation point. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't was... know. So, you know, I won't recommend it, but I won't say don't watch it. Yeah. Watch at your own risk if you want to watch it. It's Valentine's Day movie, kind of. I you mean, know, if you're flipping through channels and this comes on, yeah. like, what the fuck kind of cable package do you subscribe to? Because nobody's playing this movie. Yeah. yeah. Literally no one is <laughs> playing this movie. So if you come across it, watch it. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't hunt it down. Don't go out of your way. No. So, if you know. just so happen to have it on a giant wall of DVDs like this, and you're like, I haven't even taken it out of the shrink wrap yet. Yeah, then watch it. Go ahead and take it out of the shrink wrap and watch it. I can see this being one that you could find for cheap at like, uh, you know, a game movie, use, uh, used game movie. Oh, store. yeah. A like game room or, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, GameStop. GameStop, yeah. yeah. Well, they don't have movies, but... Yeah. Well, yeah, or like gamers. Yeah, they're they closed, but... Fuck me, man. <laughs> But yes, exactly. Yes, at Game Room, the place that you said. <laughs> or like Goodwill. Do they a have Goodwill. movies? I don't yeah, know who probably. fucking has used movies anymore. I Homers? Know. Yeah, really. Are they still around? I think there might be one in Omaha. Anyway. I quit. <laughs> That's funny. Go watch a movie. Go watch a movie. So, on that note, that ends our little Valentine Day spree. Happy Valentine's Go Day. Go kiss people. And, you know, do stuff. Have fun. No. Okay. I'm not kissing you. No, don't kiss me. We're not doing stuff. No, we're not going to do stuff either. So if you want to do whatever you, you want. You want to do stuff to Rob. You can find us on <laughs> Instagram at Stupid Movies, at The Horror Punt, at Dr. Sketch Turner, or Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Yep. Or you can email us, stupidmovies at hotmail.com. Yeah. Outlook.com. I think it's the same. I don't think it matters. I don't know. I, it does matter. Does it yeah. matter? Yeah. Okay. Stupidmovies at Outlook.com. Okay. I thought Sorry. they're all one of the same. I don't know. Shit. They're all owned by the same people. Uh, okay. It's so, all Microsoft. Yeah. It's only got crap, so nobody gives a crap. So, nobody emails us. So, whoever's watching, happy Valentine's Day. Send us nudes for Valentine's Day. Come on, Joe! <laughs> Dude, get on this! Get on it, man! We want to see your butt! Your Canadian butt. <laughs> Canadian? It, it's not like American. <laughs> it's upside down. The poop comes out the top. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. On that note, we'll see you next week. Stay stupid, friends! Stay stupid! Nah, that's... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.